Hi there! Welcome to your Daily Dose with the Calgary Zoo. My name is Leah Randall and I'm a population ecologist. I work primarily on northern leopard frogs, which are a species at risk in western Canada. If you haven't seen a leopard frog, and I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't, they range in size from about 5 centimeters to about 11 centimeters in length. Northern leopard frogs are a really important component of the ecosystem. Not only are they an important predator and a prey species, but they're so much more than this. They help link the aquatic ecosystem to the terrestrial ecosystem and transfer nutrients between. Unfortunately, northern leopard frogs are in decline. Their numbers have been declining in Western Canada and the United States, beginning in about the 1970s. And the reasons for this are really poorly understood. We suspect diseases like chytrid fungus, as well as wetland loss and other habitat loss have probably been major drivers of these declines. In the prairie provinces, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, northern leopard frogs are considered threatened with extinction. And in British Columbia, where we do most of our work, northern leopard frogs are endangered. The reason for this is that there's only a single population left within the Creston Valley, and this population is threatened by invasive species such as bullfrogs, which are moving into their habitat. We work with a collaborative group of biologists in the area as well as other conservation organizations to help reintroduce northern leopard frogs back into parts of their range where they used to be located but are no longer found. You might not realize this, but at the Calgary Zoo we also have a captive breeding facility for northern leopard frogs. It isn't on display so you can't see it, but each year we go to the Creston Valley to locate egg masses. We bring portions of these egg masses back to the zoo which we then hatch out. Some of those individuals will become founders for our captive breeding colony and others we head start. What head starting is, is it means that we allow those eggs to hatch and then grow into tadpoles and then we release them at a much larger size so that they're much like, less likely to get eaten and will have higher survival. And this is thanks to the care and dedication of our animal care staff who does a lot of the behind the scenes work for that. In order to know if your efforts have been successful though, you need to do follow-up monitoring. So we return to the release site beginning in about July once the tadpoles have become frogs. We catch them with nets and we will then weigh and measure them and perform a health check to make sure that they're nice and healthy. So thank you for listening to this episode of your Daily Dose. I hope you continue to tune in so you can learn more about our conservation effort and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.